Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's Whip It Wednesday for Wednesday, July 20th, 2022. So if you wanna see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. So my table is kind of a mess right now. I am getting ready to go for my sew date today. I'm super excited to go to my friend's house and sew. And she said, all I need to bring is my sewing machine. I'm gonna bring a little bit more than that, um, just so that I can, like if I decide to cut some fabric, I can do that. Um, I'm gonna take my uh, 16 by 24 mat. I'm gonna take my shape cut ruler and then just my basic sewing materials. And I'm also gonna take a leader ender project just in case, cause I don't like to, um, I don't like to just cut. So I'm just taking a few things with me. I'm super excited about it, but I also want to go over what I've been working on this week. If you're new to my channel, the Whip It Wednesday video comes out every Wednesday, and Whip stands for Works in Progress. And I just talk about what I've been working on. If I have any finishes, I share those during this video as well. So let's get started. Um, one of the things that I did, I'm starting a starch experiment. And so I did part one of that um, last week and I will link that video in the, um, in the description. But I'm gonna make a table runner with the diamond pavers quilt, a block that I saw in a Missouri Star block magazine. The magazine's over there, that's why I looked over there. Um, but I have one of the blocks done and this block I made with no starch. So it's right here. This is one of the diamond pavers blocks and I'm gonna make five blocks total um, using some um, faultless heavy finish starch just to see um, if I like the process, if it's worth it for me to start using starch or if I don't like it at all. So hopefully you'll join me on that journey. This week I'm gonna be making two additional blocks trying it with starch to see how I like it. So this is the first block. Again, it's called Diamond Pavers and it's from um, the Missouri Star. I'm sure they have a tutorial on it, um, but I got this one out of the Block Magazine. Okay, so that's one. I've I been working on some bears. I am at the point now where it's really simple sewing because I have basically all the pieces um, stitched, the, the components, so like I have all the arms sewn, I have all the legs, well, most of the legs sewn. This one still needs to be um, stitched. And so now I can start putting everything together. I did make one little bear face. Look at that, so cute. And so I just need to add the ears to the face and then finish up the sewing. This is really easy from this point on. I just have to sit down and actually do it. Um, what else have I been doing? I have, um, I went live on Sunday. Thank you so much for those of you, to those of you who tuned in and joined me and those of you who have watched the live video since then and during that video I made two new trip around the world blocks here's one of them it's actually upside down it goes this way okay and then here's another one right here and the way that I know all of these blocks look basically the same but I put a pin um, in each one that each of the new ones so that I know to share it on a whip it Wednesday video so now I'm gonna take the pins out and get ready for the next block, um, whatever that one is, okay? I also have, um, wait, let me, I'm trying to think. There's a lot going on in my brain. Oh, so I worked on the Starlight Starbright quilt. I have, uh, I have the actual whole thing behind me, but you can only see a small part of it. I did, this week we did the Starflower, which is the last block for the Starlight Star Bright quilt, the last block that I'm gonna make. And um, I have it in the red colorway here. I'm gonna put pictures of both the red and the blue so that you can check out um, both of the colorways. Let me know in the comments which one really speaks to you. And um, I will link this week's video in the, um, in the description. Also, I will uh, list, put the whole playlist there so that you can go and check it out. There are nine blocks total, and each of them has a, 
a download on my blog. So when you go to, for example, when you go to the Starflower um, video, there's a link to that, to this download um, in the description of that video. So go check those out if you haven't had a chance. The blocks are all nine patches and all star blocks except for the star flower, but it had star in the name, so I let it be a part of the of the quilt. Um, and they were all really simple and really fun to make, so hopefully you'll give them a try if you have not already. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I have finished the Flying Geese commission quilt. And um, if you watch yesterday's video, you got to see part of that process. I just took it out of the dryer and I wanna show you a little snippet of what it looks like, a little bit um, shrunk and sweet. So check that out right now. Here is the finished Flying Goose quilt. I've taken it out of the dryer and you probably can't really tell on camera, I don't know, but it did, um, shrink just a little bit and it softened up a whole lot and i think this quilt is going to cuddle nicely i'm kind of up on a chair so i'm going to get down i apologize in advance for the motion um but the quilting is um not super obvious which i kind of like you can see some of the quilting stitches there and i stitched in the ditch on the sashing and then every other goose block. So it's quilted all the way out to the edge. I'm gonna see if we can see some of those quilting lines in the top sashing. Not really. Um, I used an off-white thread and I guess as it was, um, as, it, as I washed it, it really just kind of sunk the stitches in, which is fine. It looks really good. And the, um, the blocks are different sizes. That stain didn't exactly come out. I thought it might have, but it didn't. Um, but the other stains I think did come out. That's the only one that appears to be left in the quilt. And I, I'll show you the back here. Let me, I'm trying to see which side I, yeah. I, um, I named the quilt looking up and you can see it there. And what I did was when I stitched it, uh -oh. you can see that it's not um, stitched through here. So I only stitched it to the back. I didn't stitch it to the front. Let me see if it'll focus a little bit. Focus. It's not. There it is. Um, so what I just did this morning was I did some uh, blind stitch to kind of hold it down because it was kind of floppy. But here you can see the quilting stitch is a little bit better too. And it just came out so good. So I'm really proud of it. And now that it's done, I can put it in the mail. Hopefully today, if not today, then tomorrow it'll go in the mail early. But I'm going to try to do it today. All right. So there it is. As I was working on the other projects, I did work on Leader Ender projects. So if you're new to my channel, uh, Leader Ender is a way to um, put something in the machine before you actually put real fabric in the machine so it's less likely to, um, to get eaten on, in the feed dogs or, or in the throat of the machine, not throat, um, in the, that part of the machine. And so I have been working on two different types of projects one is my Pellon strips. And last week I had a finished strip, but I cut the, the, um, the sides off of it now, so it's nice and finished. It looks really cool. And I started another one. This one is my lights. And I started another strip. And uh, this is some dark fabrics. This strip is really little, so I should get finished with it pretty quickly. Um, you know, but I'm kind of saving these and I recently got an idea for a project for these. So I'm super excited about that and the possibility of starting something new using these um, pillon strips. Another project that I did was I worked on a postage stamp block and I got that finished. I'm working on this as leader enders. These are all two and a half inch squares. 
that I'm stitching together and I'm trying to do them in different colorways. So I have a red block that I previously finished and this is a blue block and hopefully I can get a few in each colorway. Um, I have to go with what I have the most of because it takes 18 blocks to, um, or 18 of each color to get a completed block. And I like for all of my uh, fabrics to be different. So for some of them, some of the colorways, I don't have enough to make a complete block. I do have some partial blocks here. Um, I have a green that I've started and a purple that I've started. And I'm just cutting some scraps and stuff just to get fill out those colors so that I can make all of the blocks. Okay. Um, I am excited about having the flying geese quilt finished because that gives me a lot of space now to get a lot, get some bears done. I have like four bear orders that I need to, um, to really hit this week and the next week and the next week and next week until they're done. I also want to get this, um, the trip around the world done is for a little baby who's coming in September. I think it's September. And so I want to have, um, want to go ahead and get that done if I can. Um, I don't know what else. I, I do have this great idea about these Pellon strips, but I'm going to just think about it because I'm not sure about starting another project. Um, but really excited to get that done as well. Um, let me know in the comments what you're working on, what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to in this next week. Um, it's been a fun journey so far with Vlogmas, so thank you guys so much for supporting. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!